<laughs> so since we finished um, our other stuff, and um, this is one of the games that kept have running into issues with when it comes to streaming, we are going to play this today. I'm going to check out. Ah. So, you're going to relax with some coffee and eh, scroll the other way. Make sure all my stuff is muted, because that's something I always forget to do. Like, perpetually. Okay. Ah, let me get comfy. Should I get my fidget dragons for when they... Should I get my fidget dragons? I don't know. Maybe. Where are they? Let's go! Let's start. Should they be strong? Display content for... There's DLC? But, you know, I kind of just wanted to jump right in. Oh, yeah, let me know if the, um, the volume is too loud or I can turn the volume up or if I should turn the volume up some or whatevs. Well, hello there. It's a ghosty. <laughs> Ow. Oh, look! A human! It's been a while. <sighs> anyway, that was a good nap. I nearly slept through the whole thing. Let's see. All right, there's something I have to do first. Okay. Human, listen up. First, I'll have you select your difficulty. Choose wisely. Complain about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. You can't boom kill now me. Then, you might be calling me a ghosty. I mean, you might be calling me a human, but I am indeed a ghost. Mean! Adorable, troublesome. Which one's normal? Also, why can't I see the volume? Like, I could... Oh, there it is. I might turn it up a little bit. Just a smidgen. Humans have names. For real! Uh-oh. I'm assuming lenient is, um, normal? Oh, you sure about that? Don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm, you want to know what difficulty that is? The one you selected is how difficult yours truly will be on you. Cool. I'll be as difficult with you as you wish, so I hope you're Hi, Dark Brian, welcome to the no, stream. Yeah, I was guessing honest, adorable is like super easy It's all the same mode. no matter what you pick. I'm your lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable partner, after all. Well, you so, can't be more adorable than Walk. Are you ready? Am Do I? you want to start for real? I don't know. Do you seriously want to start? Seriously? For real? Start! Huh. Guess you're really here for it. Sounds like you're just dying to solve some mysteries. I'm about to knock that crowd off your head, lady. You just can't wait to go on adventures with me, right? <laughs> Humans are so weird! Well, let's get this started. It's time to embark on my lovely, thrilling, wonderful mystery song. Well, thank you for the raid, Firedale. Welcome, ghosties. Let's go! I am Althemia, and we actually literally just started um a rain code, like right this second. Chapter Zero, Massacre on the Amaterasu Express. Oh, no. You guys just finished Monster Hunter? That's cool. Ah! Mm 
Looks like I got knocked the fuck out. Whoa. Oh, ow. What's going on? W wait. Huh? Where am I? Ooh. Ow. Ow. So for those of you guys that don't know, this game is like, um, this game is made by the same people that made Danganronpa. So if the art style looks familiar to you guys, you know why. I guess we were out cold from a start. Sounds like it starts like every Pokemon game, but the protagonist of each Pokemon game is not knocked out. Did we fall and bump our heads? Yeah, but I don't know about this game. Is it horror? Nope, it's not horror. It's a detective game. Well, I guess it, I guess it, I guess psychological horror, I think it would be. Can I eat it? No. Huh? We're not eating the game. Huh? Why? How? Huh? I can't remember anything. Uh oh, we got amnesia. Does that mean? Uh oh, spaghettios. Do I have, uh, what was it called, amnesia? It looks like we can remember some things at least. So that's pretty good, right? Uh, all right, calm down. Take a deep breath. Well, you know, that's kind of the thing of amnesia. That's something I never understood about amnesia. In most cases, you hear about people still remember how to talk, etc., etc. Sometimes you even remember people, their names, etc., but forget things in general. Um, from what I understand, from what my mom taught me, because uh, for those of you that don't know, my biological mother was a nurse. Um, there is different degrees of amnesia, and each one has, like, a different name. So, I don't remember the different names because, uh, medical school was not on my, uh, agenda. But, um, each different type of amnesia determines on things you forget. So, the one that you got, I think it's, like, the one that's most common, what I'm assuming Protag here has, might be retrograde amnesia. I'm not 100% sure. Where am I? Who am I? Why can't I remember? Thank you for the lurk, Jay. Hope you enjoy lurkies. Inside your pocket. Huh? Check your belongings. Who is there? Am I hearing things too? I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. What's going on? I wouldn't say you're hearing things, but there is a very interesting ghosty that's haunting you. Ow! Ooh. Look, man, hitting me on the head a thousand times isn't gonna make my memories come back. Sheesh! Oh, what now? I can't catch a break. Hmm. Check my belongings. Huh. An envelope? I can't Notes. read it. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Yuma Coco Head. You are hereby dispatched to the Special Autonomous Zone of Kanai Ward. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the Master Detectives on site. I agree with that he does have purple eyes. Is that his natural eye color or did he get that after making a contract with that specter? Um, I think that might be his natural eye color, because the scheme of it matches from Danganronpa, Danganronpa art style, so. Upon arrival, 
Proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. Yuma Kokohe? That's my name? Cute. Thinking on it, I guess that sounds right. That's right! I finally remember! My name is Yuma! I'm Yuma Coco Head! I like his name. Ooh, and I like that cutscene. <laughs> well, not cutscene, but that little transition. But what's this about a world detective organization? You're a detective, young Yuma! It sounds significant. Am I a part of it? If that, am I a detective? I think I get it now. Somebody knocked them out, or he knocked himself out in the beginning, and then he has to go through this game to remember who he really is. He the protagonist or the antagonist of the story. You know, Considering this was made by the same people who made Danganronpa, that is a good question, whether he's going to be the protagonist, antagonist, or antagonist. Could be both, could be neither. I guess these kind of look like a detective's clothes. It seems I was supposed to get on a train. Or at least, I think so. I think you're already on the train, my guy. Master detectives? Am I one of them? Could there be someone who knows me on the train? Here's the ticket. Let's check the schedule. Hey, it's almost time. Oh, we're not on the train. So somebody probably knocked us out to stop us from getting on the well, train in time. I should get on that train. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. Attention! Before rushing off to the train, let's start with basic controls. Walk around and explore the room. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. oh yeah, I recommend moving the camera around to explore the surroundings. Oh. Places with an examination marker can be inspected. Make sure to investigate areas of interest. Write this down. You can fast forward. You can fast forward and autosave through dialogue. Cinematics can be skipped. Well, who wants to skip the cinematics? Stay in that detective mindset. Detective points can be earned by conducting detective activities like investigation and gathering info. Sure, hope you got all that down. Earning DP increases the detective rank. Maybe something cool will happen when the rank goes up. This kind of gives me. Don't um, you forget. Icons on the mini map mark the next objective and or people to talk with. Hmm. the back of the room mm. there's something in the back but i can't get through with all the things in the way stuff might fall if i try to move it i better not go back there why are there so many umbrellas the label reads lost items temporary storage i think from what i understand it's a common thing for people to leave umbrellas behind so someone else can use it in japan not 100 sure. bags hats and books a lot of stuff has been placed here. A toy robot? It looks sturdy. The label says lost items. Toy robot looks pretty cute. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Ah. This is. There's a cardboard box here. I can peek inside through the hole. But it's too dark to make anything out. I think I got everything in here. I get it. The place where I was sleeping was in fact... Stations lost and found. That's right. I've been sleeping in a stations lost and found section. But why was I sleeping here? Did I faint or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? 
Attention passengers departing this station direct to Kanai Ward on the Amaterasu Express. Please board immediately. The train will depart soon. Uh, I have to get on that train. I better hurry. Uh-uh. This game gives me a mixture of Danganronpa vibes and Persona vibes. Which hella excites me, not gonna lie. Get on. Get on. Yeah, yeah. Barely made it. Woo. Catch your breath, my guy. Definitely deserve it. Need it in time. Ooh, fancy. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. Our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state-of-the-art technology for an automated, safe, and comfortable service. There is no crew aboard the train. Thank you for your understanding and support. There's no crew! Automatic? So nobody's driving this thing. Great. This train has five cars. It will operate non-stop to its destination. Food and beverages are available in car two. Looks like we're in car one. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. In case of an emergency, visit the backup control room in car three and contact control headquarters via the intercom. What? Jade got added to what? We hope you enjoy your trip aboard the Amaterasu Express on your journey to Kanai Ward. Ow! So there are five cars. This must be car one at the front. I'd better find the other detectives and meet up with them. If we use this... The notebook menu has features and info useful for investigations when info gets updated. It will be marked with a new marker. Ew, check, check. In case files, you can see an outline of the ongoing case and next objective. Whoa, this stuff's vital. In save load file, blah blah. We know how to save. You definitely want to remember this. You can save this. whenever master is a ba is able to walk around freely, but there are some ex exceptions, so be careful. And that's a wrap. Options, okay. Oh, that just pauses. Interesting. Let's go ahead and save. Or I can press the wrong button. Hey, yo. You apparently sense stars sometimes? What? Y'all are confusing me today. Oh wait, there's stuff we could check out behind us. The guy it's time. a map of the train. The first and last cars can control the train. The rest are passenger cars. Cool. Oh, car two is the dining car. Something tells me that's where we're gonna find most of the um. That's where we're gonna find most of the other detectives. And I pray we're not the only ones. It says main control room A. And the door's locked. It won't open. Apparently for Mandy, my sentences are stars. There's a driver's uh, seat inside, but no one's there. The machine appears to be functioning. That must be the automatic operation device. 
I know Twitch had an update today for mobile users, so maybe see if your thing's fully There's updated. There's a warning on the door. Please keep your hands clear of the doors. For your safety, doors will remain locked while the train is in motion. All right. There's a sink and toilet inside. This must be the restroom. All you see is this. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. There's no one inside it right now. Well, no reason to really go in here. Well, apparently there is a reason. Excuse me. Hello, anyone here? I guess there's no one here. You already figured out that no one was here, so why was that an option to do? I guess whatever mm. gives me more detected points. The restroom window looks fixed in place, so it can't be opened. I don't see any of the detectives through the window. Time to move on. Well, I don't think they'd be outside, my guy. Why would they be outside the train? Hmm. I'll see if update will help. Okay. I can see my reflection in the perfectly polished mirror. I'm still not used to it. Is that really my face? Yep. It's what your mama gave you. I see a clean looking bed. This is probably the infirmary. It's locked, but there's no one inside. So, if it's locked, how are we supposed to access it if someone gets hurt? Like, just saying. It says main control room B. The door is locked and won't open. I see a driver's seat in there, but no one's inside. There's a machine, but it's not on. Driver's seat's on both sides of the train. I think that means they can go in either direction. Oh. I kind of sounded like a real detective there. <laughs> I guess that made him feel better. Huh? Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the door. I think car two was the dining room, so... Hey, people! Detective organization? You are, right? You're master detectives, aren't you? We are. But who are you? I am also a master detective that has amnesia. Um, I'm with you. I think I'm also a master detective of the World Detective Organization. Whoa. There we go. Who will I like and who will I hate? That is the question for Lila. A boy like you? Master detective of the WDO? It seems like it. Seems like it. Does he have Byakuya's voice? Like hell, dumbass! Get up out of my face, bro. A runt like you, a master detective? You're just shooting your mouth off. You look like a shriveled anteater. Anteater? What's the meaning of this? You got a lot of nerve posing as a master detective. You wanna die right here, right now? Wait, please hear me out. Oh, right. I have proof that I'm a master detective. A letter from the World Detective Organization? It's real. There's no mistake about it. What? Are you serious? Looks like there's a reason behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. Right, thank you. 
but there's really not much to explain. And that's what happened. Amnesia. Yep. Looks that way. I was hoping one of you would know who I am. Apparently not. No way. We're on the same team, but no one knows me? Then who am I? That's what I want to know. Besides, even if the letter is real, you may not be the right recipient. Why do you suspect me? There is a reason why. But first, do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? Um, a little bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. Well, this is an interesting situation. Guess not. So you called yourself a member without even knowing. Because I have amnesia. What part of amnesia do you not understand? Yes. Sorry. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Very well. I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Uh, thank you. Okay. Let's go talk to everybody first. Hmm. I don't want to talk to you because I feel like you're going to punch me in the what? face. You are just going to give me the damn cold shoulder. Oh. What is it? I'm just making my rain, saying hi. Listen up. The world detective. The fact one things. of them is a damn rabbit. A rabbit? Who's a rabbit? Dude's got cat or dog ears. This is not rabbit ears. An extra legal, extra privileged organization. Devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. Their branches exist throughout the world, and their investigations are handled by master detectives. As of now, there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WDO. All have powers specializing in investigative work. Powers? They are supernatural powers used in investigation, known as forensic fortes. Cool. People who develop talents such as clairvoyant or mind reading, they train at the organization to harness these special powers, which aid in their investigations. Those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective deed. Which means, if you're a master detective, it should say so on your license. It looks like he has rabbit ears for me. No, rabbit ears are skinny. Detective Deed? It's an identification card. Check your pockets. I don't have one. If you don't have a detective deed, you ain't one of us. Even if you got one, I'd suspect it's fake anyway. Oi. Oh, hold on! I'm not trying to trick anyone! Um, pardon me. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? If you require he has some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. Don't you just say? You heard her, she ain't wrong. She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Huh? First time? So you guys don't know each other?
Master detectives rarely meet together. We each yeah. travel the world on I'm our own, myself. solving cases. I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. And then you walked in. Oh, I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. What? You still want to do introductions? With the imposter too? Man, I want to backhand you so bad. It's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. All the more reason due to this perplexing circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? I think he means about you. Now, let's begin. Alright. Start with you. I'll go first. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Zilch Alexander. Zilch. Whoa, he got cool marks in his eyes. I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me Nature's Mediator. He said that a little too cocky for my own liking. I love people, nature, and the harmony between them. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Ah. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? Rumor has it that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died, all cursed by a sunken ritual site. figure out. I don't know if they're actually a part of his head or not. They look like they're more attached to his hat. It was a once in Congrats a century. Congrats on getting first, Firedale. The one who solved it was none other than myself. I know they move, but it still looks like it's more attached to his hat. There wasn't much to it. The culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. Yeah, sounds about right. The strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. They all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret. I'll let you figure out what that means. Lovely. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's mediator. He does look like a good detective. Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. He looks a bit intense. <laughs> but Thank you for the he's a good person. I'll describe my forte as well. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an emergency. My forte is... Animal Investigation. I can control animals as I wish, and recruit them from my inquiries. Quite fitting for the philanthropist that I am. <laughs> cool! I like Though that. useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. Yeah, I'm just a little, um, I'm not used to the light the, from my, coming from my ring light. As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged mammals. Less intelligent animals are easier to control. Thank you for the hydrate. But yeah, I'm okay. 
I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. Hey, hey, Hordling! I can't show it off right now, because there aren't any mice on this train. Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. He really is impressive. That is all from me. With love, I yield to the next person. Hmm, who should we talk to next? Let's go with you. Let us go in a circle. Yeah, I was wondering what was going on. I poked my head out the door. Introduce myself. Something tells me she's going to be a clairvoyant. Yeah, um, one ear won't stick for some ungodly reason. I'll fix it later. A subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. Uh, are you okay? Let's not glue the ear to my head. Did I do something that caused you concern? Uh, no, it's just you seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. I don't quite know what the ear is trying to stick to on my model, which is why I don't know how to fix it right now. Because it's not sticking to my flowers. It might be sticking to one of my pigtails. I rarely have a need to do so, so I was considering what approach to take. After all, is there such a thing as a self in the first place? All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to, I guess I'd call myself Poochie Lavman. Here. So, your name is Poochie then? She's a cute name. Names are meaningless. A method of arbitrary labeling for self-recognition. Symbols for categorization. Nothing more. Oi. Fire now. To that end, it serves the same purpose as a detective deed. Or so I, Poochie, believe. She seems a bit odd. Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. I was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations. My clients are mainly enterprises and politicians. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. You can definitely tell if her art style this is made for the same My forte made is known as audio aptitude. Oh, that's what the headphones are for. When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even heartbeats. No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Gucci, am around. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear things far away. Oh. I see. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. So that's what the headphones are for, so she doesn't get overwhelmed. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, 
Which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. Being blessed with power sure comes at a price. Did she always act in such a strange way? Or did it develop after she obtained her forte? Regardless, she definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. seems a bit more normal. That was cute. Hey, who are you? Hey, young man. Oh dear. Uh, me? That's right. Come here. Stand before me. Lady, you scare me already. Ooh, why? Uh, whoa. Huh? What's going on? I'm measuring you. Uh, um... Uh... Okay. <laughs> Stay still for just a second. I'll be quick. I guess that has something to do Thank with her you. forte. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. Yeah, I'd hope so. My name is Melanie Goldmine. My home is rather far north from here. Okay. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. Makeup, so to say. I think for the most part, besides her uniform, she's a Harajuku girl. I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Summon a soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Yes, of course. But there is one condition. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. Interesting. Hence why my powers don't work on people smaller than me, or if the person is far bigger. Overall, the size must match. Also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. Okay. That Thank you for the posture like chat. Reference than a condition. Clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Like skin worn over skin. That's what clothes are all about. Consider that when compared to bare skin, Clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Therefore, clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. Now that you mention it... That's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Really? Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Which means... I really am a master detective? 
Yep. Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective Melanie. Nice to meet you all. Okay. Two more people. I'm gonna talk to the loud one last. I am Zange Ereza. I come from a detective agency on the front lines, far from here. going on with your twitch mandy you have safe mode on when you have safe mode on curse words and certain other words get censored um i don't know how to turn it off though because i've never turned it on The naked part got censored Perhaps on your end, you Dragon. Perhaps an introduction, but I have nothing to say. Dragon, do you know how to turn off safe mode? Let the past melt like ice in an evening's dream. That's how I live my life. My forte is photography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. Ooh. That's all from me. There's no need for any further explanations. You have a pretty cool forte. There's clearly something extraordinary about him. I I'm scared to talk to you because I feel like you're gonna punch I me in the face. But smoke. if you do, I detective branch in the eastern slums. Yeah, that checks out. Call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke, illegal immigrant. When I was a kid, I was in an upstanding home, living an upstanding life. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Their necks were cut open right in front of me. Yeah. Uh. That's awful. I ran away to protect myself and jumped on a ship at the port. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. Well, now I feel bad for my I managed to, to survive face. until now. Thanks to luck. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. But I also wanted revenge. I don't blame you for wanting revenge, my guy. I can't stand evil. But even if you ain't evil, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. If I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, and I just beat up both of them. Okay. Kill or be killed is my motto. He looks scary, but that's not all. I think there's a deep sadness within him. Is ours the power of empathy? I can't share details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like radar. That's all you're going to tell us? You got a problem with that, you ah. tiny runt? Fuck. No, sit your ass back down. Not at all. You sure are a frail looking kid, aren't you? And pale to boot, like disaster's got its claws on you. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? 
No way. <laughs> a detective's gotta be tough. How about a little training? Man, I don't trust you training me. First, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. We'll start with an ice pick, and scissors, and a fruit knife. Back up! No thanks. Don't be shy, Runt. No, really, I'm fine. Stab yourself! <laughs> Too bad. Lastly, it's your turn, Yuma. Aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should know about? I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. I have no idea. Oh. Young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear? Or brands you like? You only inquired about clothing. Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. Stay away from me! Hold on! Aphex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. The perplexing circumstance we face may have something to do with his memories. That's right, I was wondering about that. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Did something happen? Well... Something unexpected has occurred on our trip. The number of people is off. It probably has something to do with his forte. They all seem to have an item of sorts that has to do with their forte. See how Zilch's has to do with animals and he has the animal ears on his head and he has a feather. Um, Pucci has the headphones to tune out noises so she doesn't get overwhelmed. A um, Apex says his is like radar, so probably has something to do with that. And let's see. Let's see, names. What was Melina, I think was her name? Melina or Malimi? Melina, I think. She had the, um. She has, like, all the crazy colors and stuff for clothing and whatnot. Because she has to wear the, per the dead person's clothes. And mine is question mark cowlick. Yeah, pretty much. The number of people? I forget his name, but he didn't really describe his, um, his a whole lot, but, uh, oh yeah, he had the techno one, that's right, where he can put his thoughts on the technology, and that's why he has the crazy eye patch. I, Pucci, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was precisely five. Five? One, two. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh. There's six of us. I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. Hence, why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. <laughs> this is getting exciting. It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. It's not me. I think. How about we contact the WDO and find out? It could be a mistake. It's no use. I can't reach them. There's no signal here. Well, shit. 
Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? It's obvious. I'm the most suspicious. Especially with my amnesia in this situation. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. Alright, I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. Hey, right, go. You may speak. I'll allow it. Why would I need your permission? Because at this rate, someone's gonna knock you upside the head to get you to shut up. Whatever. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Huh? It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack Yuma? To pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. The plan was going smoothly. The runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed, and the results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The runt's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. Then I thought you'd be the most useless one here. <laughs> <laughs> Why, thank you. I don't know if that was supposed to be a compliment, my guy, but you know, whatever floats your boat. In other words, I was knocked out at the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. Yeah, you've been injured. Well, you got bonked on the head. That's probably all they wanted was just for you to not make it to the train. Excuse me, my deduction is slightly different. Okay. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Stop acting like we need to get your permission! I suspect that the entire situation is a test designed by the World Detective Organization. A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member and is ascertaining our skills here. If that were the case, Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. Me? An exam officer? That'd be interesting. <laughs> Bring it on! I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got! What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. And how are you going to do that? Like this! Let's go! Hey, that was pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. What? What was that? A weird feeling overcame my whole body. No signs of the enemy. <laughs> Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Um, what did you do? I used my forte, life detection. I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. The mechanism is a trade secret, but I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. Talk all you want, but who can verify that you're not lying? We're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything. Use your own damn powers to figure it out then. I see. So Forte's come in handy at a time like this. In that case, there's someone else with the power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. Uh, 
Um, Pucci, would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Pucci, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. Shall I try? Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots! Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? I need to concentrate. This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. So he can see what the others see with their power? What are you guys talking about? He's a copycat. What? Hang on. What do you, what? What do you love bugs talking about over there? LOL, he literally just mentioned it in game, silly. What? Y'all confusing. Does no one else hear it? What's going on? I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. He could sense that. He could sense what Radar Dude could sense, and he could hear what she was hearing. That main character, his power is possibly a copycat. That, or he has the ability to see and feel what the others are seeing and feeling when they use their forte. Though one could hold their breath, they still cannot stop their heart from beating. In other words, there's no one else on this train. I, Pucci, guarantee it. Huh? See? I told you so! Sorry for calling you gloomier, little girl. You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but... Aren't our powers kind of the same? Hmm? Huh? You know? I guess their powers are kind of the same. They can stop their heart from beating if they're dead. Ha! I outthunk her. Well... This, uh, chapter zero is called Murder on the Amaterasu, so I'm assuming that's what they're not sensing, is a dead body hidden here somewhere. I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. <coughs> so you're the useless one. Quiet, you catty bitch! <laughs> Moving on... We've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them an imposter? So who do you guys think is the imposter? Well, Aphex and Pucci both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. Loud ass? I don't think they are the imposters. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Why am I the only one? It's probably your forte, Yuma. <laughs> Ha 
What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Hmm. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? There's no animals on the train for him to use. How him. about it, you four-eyed fox detective? Ah, so you got fox ears. As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. So, you're fine being considered a suspect then? You are free to think what you wish. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest would possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. That's true. There's no end to this! To hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! Whoever passes out is safe, got it? The real deal! If you don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! Calm down. Let's do things logically. Like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration.
Hmm, the motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? Speak. I'll allow it. For the hundredth time, why would they need your permission? The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows, but I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear, and at last, they revealed themselves. Sorry, what did she say? Hold up. Did you just say that you... Hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However... I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal. To disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. I'm still shocked that she walked around in her underwear. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? I got amnesia, dumbass. Fucking A. It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. see their products practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, with their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. I keep hearing a weird sound. That sounds like someone's like sawing into our house. I'm just like, what is that? 
I keep looking around. I'm like, hello? Did I see a cartoon moment? That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? Uh, yeah, sure. Yep, yeah, definitely. That's... That's a sure. chair! I got it. Thanks. Oh my goodness. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Interesting. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. Well then, I mean, I guess that's something. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. But that explains where we come in. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. I see. Thank you very much. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. I don't trust that. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety, but I feel as though we're stuck in a big moving coffin. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be opened. I, Pucci, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Sus. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. Has anything you heard sound familiar? Uh -uh. It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter! Huh? Or maybe our forte involves communing with the dead. And that's why Ghost Lady is always following us around. Um, did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You 
you've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee here. And whiskey. Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Front probably wants milk. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I have amnesia and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Ah, it's gonna make me choose? Me, tech. I had a sudden thought. What's your sudden thought? Well, I tried to get comfy in my chair. Looking at things objectively, the situation I'm in is pretty strange. Not to mention the mystery of my missing memories. Was it an accident or did someone attack me? Regardless, I can't remember. So in the end, I'm the most suspicious one here. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. If it started with ghosts and we are able to hear a strange voice that we can't see, what if the chick is the imposter? No, no, no. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Remembering now won't do any good. Well, why not? There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! Uh-huh? Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. What? Zange? So that's how you pronounce his name, Zange. I've heard someone has used thoughtography to show the other side of the moon. Can you do that, Zange? Uh, yeah, there's a chance but I don't that think it's all a trick to look like a forte. Let's observe him carefully and see. Thoughtography, huh? Can you use it to show what historical figures wore day to day? Make it quick, old man. Yeah. It should be no problem if you're a real right master detective. Okay. Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. What's that? Your cell phone? Quiet. Hmm. Hmm. Again, I can feel Zonga using his forte. As I've said before, my power is photography. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. That's definitely. 
definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. But by copying it to another device before it fades, footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Smart. Pardon me, but are you sure this is thoughtography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. All you do is doubt everybody! Be constructive for once! Do you think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Young man, are you all right? You don't seem well. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car 3 and beyond are all full, so you should use car 1 at the front. All right. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be all right on your own? Or do you need some company? Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. I'm all right. I can get there by myself. Off we go before we faint. Can we get the infirmary open though? Because last time I checked it out, it was locked. Wait. It's locked. You gotta find the key first. The key! Where's the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? I see, I see. If an entire area of the mini-map is shining, that means a destination or investigation object is nearby. Let's take a closer look around. Okay. It opened. I would hope it opened. It's the only one that... again. Hey! It's time to get up! You're the one who made us go unconscious. How long are you gonna sleep? Get up above or I'll boom kill you! <sighs> Oi, bae. Huh? <laughs> so you can finally see cute little me. <laughs> it's all taking root. Okay. What? Huh? What is this thing? Oh, 
can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? Because you keep appearing at the most inopportune moments as of currently. Uh, aren't you rude? It's talking. Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too. I've completely lost it. Snap out of it. You're my master, aren't you? Master? I am. That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us. Huh? What pact? What? You've forgotten all about how we were so passionately bound together? Oh, how cold of you! After I offered myself to you and you alone! What part of amnesia? Responsible. Take ownership of your actions. What type of what part of amnesia do these characters not understand? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Kitty, of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. You don't get a death god for free, you know. If you want to eat, you gotta bring something to the table. Wait. What did you just say? A death god? Call me Shinigami. Well, hello. Death god sounds so ominous and creepy. That ain't my style, you know. I'm too cute for that. I was born too pure and innocent. That's why I prefer to go by Shinigami. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm quite confused. <laughs> Good answer, Master. You keep calling me Master. Wait, are you haunting me? Please, call me Shinigami. Okay. Shinigami. Yup, yup. Of course, I'm 100% haunting you. I'm haunting you like your life depends on it. That was your wish after all. It's why we made that contract. That's what I wanted? And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. Okay. Offered? <gasps> you mean... You finally got it? You offered your own memories. Why the fuck would I do that? You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. Interesting. That's why I have amnesia? The euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. That lovely. Which is it? For real. Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Why not? Tell me! No can do. That's the contract. Lovely. By the way, Master, something's been bothering me. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Two hours? Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? But during that time, no one came to check on you. They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. Who? Speaking of, why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. 
When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Well, that sounds like your fault. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. For real. Hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. That's right. Where are the others? They should still be in the front. Smoke? What's going on? Oh, shit. It's me! How hysterical! What? Weren't you watching over me the whole time? I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. All I saw was your dumb sleeping face in the restroom. I have no clue what happened outside. So oh what happened here? Hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door! Right! Is there a fire? Fire? So, it's burning? No, nah, it's not burning at all. Now I'm getting excited! Excited? We have to do something! Why can't I get- why can't I pick that up? <coughs> What's going on? <gasps> Silch! Silch, please wake up! Silch! There's too much smoke! I, I gotta help! Master, look! <gasps> All right. Did this happen? There's no time to rest. If you're a detective, you know what to do. Huh? Search the body. You need to confirm if someone is really dead by checking the body. Me? Maybe I should ask for help. Why would a detective run from a corpse? I don't know that I'm a detective. Well, you sure are one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked for help from yours truly. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain it another time. But since you've forgotten, I'll be your mentor and train you to be a proper detective. So get to it. I'm really doing this. Of course. The mystery is practically solved when a detective is first on the scene. <sighs> Time to investigate! It's completely charred. No movement. No breathing either. I can't feel a pulse. The smell of burnt flesh is too much for me. A knife is still lodged in the chest. This is the only knife wound. I don't see any other injuries. Well, how's our corpse doing? Dead, without a doubt. Thought so. Kinda charred, after all. You really didn't even need to check. <sighs> don't be so glum. You had to check the corpse in any case. It's not that. I mean, if I'd noticed sooner... You think you could have saved a life? Forget about it. If you're so worried, try CPR. Though, you'll be tasting soot doing that to such a charred corpse. What's dead is dead. Never let that get you down. Right. I have to tell the others about this. 
I smell a case. Wait. This is. But. Yeah, but I wanted the detective points. <laughs> well. Ooh. Where'd they all? They must be in the other rooms. What's that? <gasps> what? Imagination. Stop your trap! You memoryless, courageless, brainless detective! This is a nightmare to you, then you gotta use all you got! But what can I even do? That's why I'll be your teacher and mentor. I'll make you a proper detective yet! But just listen to me, and everything will be a okay. First, check the scene of the crime like you did earlier. Now stand up. Come on! Melanie, all right. She's completely burnt to a crisp, but I recognize what parts are left of her face. There's no pulse or breath. No doubt she's been dead for a while. There's a bottle of liquor nearby. Maybe that was used to start the fire. You found two corpses back to back? You sure are reeling them in! <laughs> Talk about beginner's luck! There's nothing lucky about this at all! So, what's the cause of death? Huh? Oh, um... There aren't any obvious external wounds. So she burned to death. The other one also got incinerated. Such a cruel way to die. What's going on here? This is... There are empty liquor bottles around. All of them apparently had high alcohol content. Could Melamie have been set on fire with this? Alcohol is the best way to cook the stench out of meat, after all. What a rich fragrance! How about a taste, Master? This is... There are a bunch of liquor bottles on the shelf. Could they have been used to set Melamie on fire? Yeah, that's right! She was literally flambéed with some pricey-looking liquor, huh? Not a bad way to go. <laughs> Sorry, I was messing with Kalea. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the next one! Huh? Did it just shake? Oh, dear. Now what? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. I don't like this. Uh-oh. Oh, it got dark outside. Looks like we're in a tunnel. Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? You should probably tell the other master detectives, yeah? Yeah. Right, that's right. Hey! 
Is anyone there? We need help in the first two cars. Zonge, Pucci, Apex. Anybody? <sighs> hmm, no response. I smell a tragedy. This is like the very picture of hell. <laughs> One mystery after another. I can't hold back from all this excitement. We have to find the others right away. I'm getting excited here. Gucci. Oh, no way. And that's number three. It's a hat trick or a turkey, right? <laughs> Lila, you jinxed it. Master, if you don't want to end up like this, then you better be more prudent. More prudent, huh? my ass. The train hasn't gotten to the destination yet, and you can't get off halfway. Which means whoever killed these guys is still in the train, right? The killer? What, who would do such a thing? You'll find out if you investigate. You better nail it, Master. Regardless, you should leave the door open to be safe. Gotta make sure you don't get cornered. Yeah. It's Poochie's corpse. I can barely make out what's left of her face. She doesn't appear to have any external wounds. There's a blanket over her torso. Looks like she was burned when the blanket was set on fire. Yep, it's a corpse. Is this Poochie's bed? Maybe there's a weapon for self-defense inside. It'd be good for you to check it out. I'm sorry, Poochie. I'm taking a look inside. There's a change of clothes and travel supplies. No weapons or other self-defense items. It's a wash, then. It was sitting there like a treasure chest, so... I was hoping there'd be a rare metal inside. Why is this happening? Even... Pucci. Master, let's move on if you're done here. There's no time to waste. Right. Where's Zonge? And Apex, too. This is... Hmm. Let's not speak ill of the dead. I'm sure she had her reasons. Yeah, she never took them off because it overwhelmed her. This is... <sighs> I'm sorry, she said it might suddenly start going Foo -hoo -hoo, and that's what Monokuma did. Let's check. Hmm. Nobody's in this room. Whose bag is this? Oh, it's open. Is it okay for me to look inside? You're a detective. Why even ask? Detectives search people's bags and cupboards all the time. Smashing pots to find what they want is part of the job. That's too much. Notice. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Zilch Alexander, you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous region of Kanai Ward. So this is Zilch's. Dispatch room. duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. This is a letter for Zilch, so this must be his bag. The only things inside are work documents, nothing else of note. Ah, that's no fun. Oh. 
this is? It's a glasses case with an animal print on it. There's nothing inside. This probably belongs to Zil. Right. He was the only one on a train wearing glasses, after all. This is... Zilch's clothing breast. There's some fur stuck in the bristles. Then... Maybe he was a clean freak. Not that it matters now that he's burnt to a crisp. Zilch. This isn't a passenger room. This... Still worth checking out. Wow! It looks like a secret face! Don't you want to destroy these whenever you see them? No! No? What? Crazy. There's Gonna get no us killed. Here, so I should go look for help somewhere else. How about you check out that machine over there? Maybe it'll help you figure out what happened. It's okay, I won't break it. This machine? Fine. Hmm. Something's blinking, that's right. You just gotta hit this thing and it'll be good as new! Oh, there's an intercom. In an emergency, press this button and speak into the receiver. Yeah! And now I'll report this to control headquarters and call for help. <sighs> of course. It won't connect. Why? If it doesn't connect during an emergency, it's totally useless. If this system was completely automated, a report should have been sent to control headquarters about the fire. Maybe everyone in control headquarters is already dead, and you're the last living human in the world. What a horrible thing to say. Yeah, for real. This is the train map. The shining part must be the train's current location. After we exit this long tunnel we just entered, we'll reach Kanai Ward in no time. It's been a long trip. But I'm sure it's been a shorter one for a certain napping detective. Okay. What's this machine? There appears to be instructions. Backup control system? The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. So the control system manages the electricity. This one is the backup, not the main one. Hey, what about the file over here? What does it say? It looks like an explanation about autonomous driving. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Because of that, it can easily climb steep slopes. Hmm. I guess everything here relies on that control system. So, if you destroy the main and backup control systems, you can stop the train. Right now the control system is functioning, so the train is still moving with no issues. The monitor displays an operation log. But there's no record that the train has stopped at all. Yeah. Master, while you were sleeping like a log, I never sensed the train stopping either. The doors won't open unless it stops and the windows are all locked. No one can get on or off while it's en route. Huh? What's wrong, Master? I noticed the backup control system is operating. Well, it's better that it's running. All the electricity is managed by the control system, after all. Anyway, Master, I'm bored of this place. Let's move on already. It must move switched... on because you're bored? It must have switched to the backup during that power flicker we saw earlier. Hmm. This looks like some kind of control device. It might be dangerous, so I shouldn't right. touch it. Yeah, you wouldn't want to press the wrong button and cause the train to derail. That sounds like a nightmare. In yeah, the okay. end, there weren't any survivors in this train car. You better go check the next one. Yeah, you're right. Let's go to the next one! Mm. Man, do I got a bad feeling about this train car. Um, is 
anyone there? <sighs> yeah. Watch out. There's nothing here. I don't see luggage or anything else. If each person gets their own room, then someone got nothing, right? It can't be. Yeah, it's nothing. It's tissues. This is. There are a lot of tissues on the table. Maybe he can't turn down free samples when people hand them out. <laughs> oh yeah, so many reasons for why someone would keep tissues next to the bed. Yeah. <laughs> What are you implying, Shinigami? I don't know what she's implying. It's a jacket. Uh, who does this jacket belong to? Looks like something Apex would wear. Say. Did you check the pockets? There's nothing inside. Hmm. If we don't know who it belongs to, it doesn't make a very good clue. There's a bunch of magazines. Hmm? There are magazines scattered on the desk. There's a pro wrestling magazine. What are the hot angles these days? I don't think it has anything to do with the case. Let's look somewhere else. Naughty Shinigami. I have no idea what she was talking about. Oh, God. Okay. Why? How did this happen? What? Do you think this is funny because you're a death god? No. I think it's awesome! My heart's fluttering with joy! Each death takes the mystery even deeper! So mysterious! This is all wrong! discern his face though I can't find any particular external wounds just like the other corpses he was also incinerated in a burning blanket like Zilch in the first car and Poochie in the third one all three of them are sleeping in bed and murdered by immolation oh and what's this Zange's cell phone maybe his photography left something behind no good just a video of me drinking coffee. It can't help me solve this mess. <sighs> There's only one person left. We don't know where he is. Who could have done this? <gasps> Wait! There are just six people on the train, including myself. And I found four bodies. Zilch, Melanie, Pucci, and Zange. The only one left is... Apex? Took you long enough. I knew from the very start. You still need work, Master. I'll be sure to train you well. So Apex is the culprit? He murdered the others in such a deranged way? He's got a short fuse, so maybe it was a crime of passion. He probably lied about being a Master Detective. No, he's a Master Detective for sure. I sensed him lose his powers. You sensed it? Hmm. Uh, but if yeah. he betrayed the WDO and became an Amaterasu Corporation spy, it's reasonable to conclude he killed the other master detectives to sabotage our efforts. Anyway, time to boom kill that psycho! You were totally about to say that, right, Master? No. Only you were gonna say. Not at all. If he finds me, I'm done for. I'm actually surprised you haven't died yet. You look like you'd be the first to die. Oi, bet. I won't deny it. I probably got overlooked. I was supposed to be in the infirmary in the first car, but I passed out in the restroom, right? Maybe that's why the killer didn't find me. What's up? Master, I told you that while you were passed out, no one came to the restroom. But one time, the door did open, I think. 
by the time I noticed the door closed again, I don't know who was there. Now that I think about it, could it have been that guy with the short fuse? So he let me go? Why? Hmm. Maybe he thought you weren't even worth killing. You're an incompetent guy with amnesia. That wasn't a diss, just a fact. I know. Now that we know who the culprit is, we have to find him before the train arrives. Find him and do what? Catch him, of course. And it's all up to you, Master. That's impossible. It's fine. There's no time to waste. Nothing's fine about it. Yeah, for real. This is... This might belong to Zange. They look well used, so they could be really Safe. old. Why don't you look inside the notebook? There might be something about the case. This seems to be records of past cases he handled. Mm. But there isn't any information about this current case. This looks like Zange's bag. There's nothing inside that matters. one room Apex would be, and I'm scared we're gonna find another dead body. Oh. Yo, check, check. It's a woman's travel bag. There's a name here. Melanie Goldmine. Oh. It looks like makeup and travel supplies. Nothing noteworthy. Hey, did you check to see if someone's hiding nearby? Yeah. No one's here. You sure? What if he's hiding in the back? I just checked Even the back. Childs couldn't hide in there. You don't know that. You're up against a master detective, remember? What if there's a master detective who has the appearance of a child but the mind of an adult? Of course there isn't. You sure about that? I think there's totally a detective like that out there. I'm gonna bonk you. This is. A woman's clothes on the bed. I wonder if they belong to yeah, Melanie. Yeah, that's right. Those are some fla flashy threads. She definitely got some looks in the city. But now she's all burned up. Guess she won't be wearing it anymore. <laughs> Melanie. Why does she have to die? This is... There's a pouch of cosmetics on the desk. This must belong to Melanie. But she'll never use it again. Well? You shouldn't apply makeup to fresh burns, after all. I just want to bonk her. Where? Can't get off the train when it stops. And I can't find Apex. And I'm starting to think that Apex might be... Either gone or dead. If he's dead, then I got questions. It got brighter. Guess we made it through the tunnel. Which means we're almost there. At this rate, you'll let the murderer escape. More shaking? What is it this time? Master, you gotta hurry! The next train car is the fifth one. This train has five cars in total, so this is the last one. Oh, but... Fifth one's but the you broken can't one. access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. The door was supposed to be broken, right? Master, you better hurry! Well, let's work to try. Hey, it opened. What the? Was it repaired? The hell happened in here? It's been wrecked. What happened here? Looks like this train car was on fire. Master, look over there! Oh, you gotta be shitting me. A dead body. It's a gold chain. No way. It can't be a, a fifth corpse. Because that would mean everybody except me is dead. So mysterious. Even I'm getting confused now. Anyway, time to investigate. 
<sighs> no. Apex this wasn't isn't wearing a, it's a, real a gold corpse, chain. It? it is, without a single doubt, the bona fide remains of a human. Yeah, I plan for this to be my next um long-term game, Firedale, because I think it has like a shit ton of chapters. I have no idea. I'm positive about that. I specialize in corpses after all. I'll check for signs of life just in case. No. He's completely dead. Huh? His necklace looks familiar. Wait, it's the same one Apex was wearing. Oh, Apex was wearing a gold necklace. Looking at the body type of the corpse matches the guy with the short fuse. His face is burns beyond recognition, but could this really be Apex? I have no idea. You might find it unbelievable, but it seems like it. So his cause of death was also fire? Yeah, I don't see any other external trauma. Wait, there's an injury on his chest. Hey, you're right. I'm surprised you noticed. Is it a stab wound? It looks like he was pierced with a blade. If that's the case, was he stabbed to death? No, he could have been incapacitated by the stabbing and then burned. It's impossible to determine the cause of death with what we have. Oh, you've gone full throttle in this investigation. Good job! To me, for being your mentor. But why Aphex? Mm. Yep, this corpse is real too. It won't open. But of this course. is the last train car. There's nowhere else to go from here. It says main control room B. It's no use, it won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. Hey, Master, maybe someone's hiding in there. Any way you can bust it open? I don't think so. The door looks too sturdy. Also, I don't think it's possible for someone to be hiding in there. Apex and Pucci both said that there were only six people on the train. So, including me, there can only be six of us here. Hmm, I see. Oh, why are there two control rooms in a single train car? They probably have control rooms so it can go in either direction. This is the last car for where we're heading. But it'll be the front car on the way back. Ah, oh, well now that you mention it, there is a control room in the front train car too. I don't know. I find this last body suspicious. Jeez. Huh? What's this? What is it? Did you find something? The interior lock is open right now, but there's something odd about the latch. Hey, shut up, uh, yeah, I'm playing this game. Look, you know me. I like my detective games. There's blood on it. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, you're right. Let me try to slide it. Ah. That's a blood stain, all right. But why is blood there? It seems the blood got on there while the door was locked. That's evidence of something for sure. No harm keeping it in mind. Definitely. Sure hope you got all that down. This is... Hey! And this train is unnamed, main, right? If there's no one on the train, so I even have one. Because it would be, you know, the case. Or someone this knows how to use it. No, see, I had a theory. There is an AED set up in the infirmary, but no signs of its use. No point in using it on someone already burnt to a crisp. I have a theory. Because nobody could get into this room. This is 
that that when everyone boarded this train, that last body was already dead. So when they all used their special powers and stuff, they knew that there was no one else on this train alive because they couldn't hear or sense life or heartbeat. Hmm? Why is only this bed turned over like this? Maybe it's to hide evidence of some kind. Just a hunch. Ah, so there's already a body there? That's my theory, at least. The restroom is in terrible shape. The mirror is cracked and covered in soot. There's no one inside. So, think the actual murderer planted a body to make you think they were dead when they're not? I don't know. There's a chance that that could be Apex, but there's also a chance that that could not be Apex. I'm under the impression... Mm. Huh? That's weird. This area seems more burnt somehow. Hmm. Maybe there was something flammable in there. See? Look there! There are traces of something that got burned. That must be the number is one card that thing. some sort of plate displaying the train car number? But why is this the only one completely burnt? It... The golden chain could be more damaged in the sign of the body. Depends. Really depends. It gold main control room A. doesn't... It takes a lot to melt gold. And gold doesn't really burn like that, so... gold melts way low compared to stuff. That's if it's real gold. It could be mixed with stuff. It's no use. It won't open. There's and what a driver's are the... seat in there, but I don't see anyone. And what are the chances the that somebody like Apex there, had real gold? On. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please mind your belongings. I ain't got no belongings, and nobody on this train got their damn life but me. Master, we're almost at the station. You have to catch the culprit. Catch who? Everyone besides me is dead. Are you sure it's everyone? Calm down and count again. Silch in car one. Melanie in car two. Pucci in car three. Zange in car four. And Apex in car five. Although we can't tell if that's Apex's body because the thing is burnt so badly. See? That's five. Everyone besides me is dead. That makes you the only possible killer, Master. Did he do it? You were with me the whole time, dumbass. But no! That's not possible! But I can't say for certain. I lost my memories, and now I'm seeing a death god. There's something wrong with me. Death gods are said to reap human souls. Maybe because I'm being haunted by one. Maybe subconsciously. I... We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please watch your step while exiting the train. What do you mean, finished? We ain't solved shit. Some besides me has to be alive on this train, I swear to you guys. Usually plain gold isn't used for jewelry because it's so soft. It bends super easily. Exactly. Sometimes it is used. I don't know. I, I don't know. There are some oh, cases. What? This looks bad. Step out of it. Run. Run. But... <sighs> what the hell? Some cases. Master, those guys from before are still on the platform. Run to the front train car. Why is this happening to me? Some cases are where real gold is used 
and they case it with um, plastic so it's, so the poisonous effects aren't used. Ah, they're coming in. We gotta go. Go where? I wonder if Master can even make snap judgments. What? You might find yourself in a pinch during the course of detective work. Follow the on-screen instructions to get out of those tricky Master situations. Doesn't make mistakes. There's a right. time limit for input, right. so be careful. Oh, right. Yes. these people the police they're not your friends that much is for sure considering the state of the crime scene they're totally gonna pin it on you but oh You're done for. Thanks, Shinigami. W wait, Thanks. please listen to me. I can explain. Huh. What's that to talk about? You're a master detective of the WDO, aren't ya? The name's oh. Swank Ketsunel. I'm with the Amaterasu Corporation's peacekeepers. You got a very punchable face. And your fucking tea say money. Wow. Amaterasu Corporation peacekeepers? Don't act like you don't know. You're a WBO detective for crying out loud. Or. Are you some sort of imposter? No, I'm not. I think. You think? Well, I don't care either way. What's about to happen has already been decided. Which is? The peacekeepers are the defenders of law and executioners in Kanai Ward. The unjust wander into my space. They will be eliminated. Eliminated? Hey, is it Kanai Ward under the complete control of Amaterasu? Meaning, these people are like the police here. Police? But it's just some company security department. Hey, who are you talking to? All right. You're the only one who can see me, thanks to our contract, Master. It's a bit cliche at this point, huh? <laughs> Don't laugh, help me! I'll ask again. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? Talk about suspicious. I'm sorry. Tell me how you're gonna explain this situation. We prepared that to welcome you all here. But an internal fight sprawling into a bloodbath was unexpected. It, it's not what it looks like. There's a perfectly logical explanation behind this. You're the culprit. Huh? Well, that was direct. Master, 
Doctor, try your best to beat him. No, I really don't know anything. Everyone was killed while I was asleep. I don't think so. While the other detectives were asleep, you killed them. There's proof. There's the copy and why. What the? We found coffee and wine in the dining room. When we checked the second car earlier, I had a support for drinking. You can see what happened. Looks like some sort of knockout drug was mixed into it. Drug? Which means you drugged the other detectives and killed them while they were passed out. Wow, he may just be a lowly grunt, but he knows his stuff. He could be trouble. Why do you sound so impressed? So did you figure out the cause of death? Yes, they all burned to death. Huh? All of them? How cruel of you to kill them like that. What's your end game in this? Is it money? Or is it money? If it's money, Hand over everything you swipe. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. He just wants money. That's no fair. I'm not the culprit. Yes, you are. You're the culprit. But I have proof I'm not the culprit. It's on Zonge's phone. I drank the coffee and passed out as a result. No, I... I'm not the perpetrator. But do I know that for sure? In this situation, who else besides me could have done it? There were without a doubt only six people on the train, and five of them were killed. So the only possibility is... Just admit it! I know you're the culprit! What am I supposed to do? Admit it now! You're guilty! Am I... the killer? Come on, confess! <sighs> Maybe it's better if I confess for now. It could be better to get through this now and get some time to think about it. Why confess if you didn't do it? Master, you're an idiot! Don't both kill you! Huh? You heard me? I didn't say it out loud. There you go again, talking to yourself. Must be crazy or something. I hear your thoughts, too. I told you we share the same mind and body. Anyway, never mind that. Why are you giving up already? Well, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. The mystery solving has just begun. Why did you make a contract with me to begin with? Huh? Well, what do you mean? Shut up! Stop talking to yourself, you unstable psycho! Hey! Bring him down, men! Confiscate anything of value he has while you're at it. <laughs> oh! Stop with all that pitiful moaning! I'll show you exactly what I'm made of right now! Come on, Master! Hold your mind and body What did I just witness? What is this? What's happening?
Don't look at me, Firedale. I didn't do it. Wh what's this? What's going on? Ah! Who are you? What do you mean? I've been with you the entire time. Wait. You're Shinigami? Cute. Oh, right. Guess you can't tell because I'm not puppy anymore. I can only access the mystery labyrinth if I'm at full power, so I had to change forms. But some parts of me are still nice and puppy. It's true. Wanna touch? Uh, um, okay. Anyway, what's going on? It's like time has stopped. And what's that hole? That hole is connected to the mystery labyrinth. Mystery labyrinth? You'll find out when you enter. Come on, let's go! Wait, you have to tell me! What's a mystery labyrinth? I do not have a magical girl transformation whenever I turn into my more humanoid form. What is this? Master? You did this, Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. It's got that kind of vibe, right? An alternate universe? Well, you don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome! You probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Check this out. Ta-da! This is the Mystery Labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Materializes mysteries? Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a Mystery Labyrinth. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. That's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway. Mmm. According to my OBS, there is no dropped frames, so I guess Twitch is being twitchy. Master, we're gonna beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth! What happens when we beat it? In every case, there's a hidden truth. And we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Cool. So this kind of is like Danganronpa and Persona had a baby. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. We'll discover the killer's identity too? 
You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. Neat. But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be, too. Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. So you're saying there are traps in there? Yep, looks like you're finally getting it. How good am I at mazes? Now that I've explained it all, know. let's head into the dungeon. Oh, hold on, I, I don't understand any of this. Seriously, you don't get it? It's been such a long time since I've done anything maze-related outside of the maze maze from, um, Pillar Frequency. Uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. This one is formed from the murder on the Amaterasu Express. Wait, wait. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if we keep going, the Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Yep, you totally get it! What? I don't get anything! This makes no logical sense! Sheesh! This is why you're a benchwarmer detective. You're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. Of course I am! Why didn't she do this before the police people showed up? Um, she probably wanted us to solve it before we even got stationed. more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. No. That'll make all your worries disappear. No, it won't! Please, explain everything now! Relax, relax! I'll tell you in due time. Come on, let's go! Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth! Ah, uh, sorry. I forgot to mention the important keys. What? Keys? You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. They're called solution keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, where do I find them? Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kinda had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. The Amaterasu Express? Uh... The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. up our key. So this is a solution key, but why did it come out of your mouth? Mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. You put thought into this? So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Let's keep reviewing what happened in this case. Alright, 
I'll do my best. Oh, thank you. About the model working out well. My artist mama and rigor, my artist mama worked really hard on it and apparently she's not even done. I don't even know what else she has planned for it. So whenever it actually gets finished, we'll all be surprised. <laughs> I, I think everything's done. I think she said that she gave me a hint that it was gonna be toggles that she's working on. So I guess we'll figure that out when we get there, huh? Uh, the incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Including myself, there were six master detectives on board. Aphex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. And who died first again? It was Zilch and the first car's infirmary. As far as we're concerned. I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window, I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but wouldn't budge because it was locked. No, we've interacted with all of them. Does that mean this was a locked room mystery? Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Mm, that's no fun. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. But I found Melamy's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. Ooh, a flambe! A human flambe! That reminds me, something was off about car two. Right before the train entered the tunnel, there was a strange shaking. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure, uh, wind stuff. And there was a blackout right after, although it only lasted a moment. Yeah, what was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel too? No, when we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. There was something else, too. Something that happens when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. And the next corpse. Was the little girl in the third car? Yeah, it was Poochie. Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. secret base thing in the third car? You mean the backup control system? I remember something about that. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything else you can remember? I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? What do you think about that? Hmm. I think during that one second when the power flickered off is when the main system went down and switched to the backup system. The train never stopped, so that doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? Yeah, that's true. 
Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was also covered in burns. Was there anything strange about that corpse? He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. Oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. Anyway, forget about the geezer for now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. But the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. You got ideas? What's your ideas? Oh, and the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. Hmm. You can't say it in case you're right. You can always say your educated guesses. Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station. According to the Peacekeeper's report, they all burned to death. But that part seems off to me. And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Yeah, I think that's everything of note. <gasps> what a big catch! This should be enough solution keys to solve it. But I still don't know how to use them. You worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. I'm not getting used Solution to that. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. A solution key is a manifestation of clues related to a case. You can acquire or update one by investigating the case and moving the story along. Sure, hope you got all that down. Acquired solution keys can be viewed in the notebook menu. Try checking one out if a mystery labyrinth becomes too difficult to solve. There's bound to be some useful information. Shinigami's tutorial corner! Labyrinth skills are abilities that can help you clear mystery labyrinths. Oh, my stars, I don't know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> Thank you for rating. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm a real day? I'm a real oh my stars, I suck at pronunciations. I am so sorry, but the welcome raiders. <laughs> Hello. I'm Althemia, a Hawaiian spirit VTuber. And we are playing a rain code. Yeah. We're actually hey, still like Do you need a power up? Okay. Labyrinth skills are abilities that can help you clear mystery labyrinths. Acquire them by spending skill points, which you get when your detective rank increases. Set whichever skills suit you best. Oops. Labyrinth skills can be checked and acquired in the abilities section of the notebook menu. You can activate labyrinth skills by setting them, but it requires memory costs, so pay attention to how much you have left. Gotcha. Time to head off in search of the truth. Let's solve this thing. Oh, my stars, worry. Ah, I just played some on chapter two. Oh, my stars, noise. We literally just started. We're still on the tutorial. <laughs> well, things I go really blind. turn out fine. I go in blind, so no spoilies, but I go in blind.
Doris and sealed our fate. So, this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hope I have fun. Thanks! Understand if you have to, um, raid and dash, cut, get some after stream R&R &R going on. So I hope you have a good day if you do. Hey, if we keep going, will we really get to the truth? Come on, would I lie to you? I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. You're... what? I will remove that from my memory banks. Better write this down. There are places in a mystery labyrinth where the path just goes on and add on. You can't move on until the scene plays out, so keep following the path until it does. Everything just moved just now. Oh, that's a cube. A cube? Ooh, is that a monster living in the mystery labyrinth? They're not exactly monsters. You are part of the mystery labyrinth itself. They're what materialize the mysteries. Yeah, I can kind of look around. You have no intelligence or autonomy. All they do is manifest the mysteries in the labyrinths. But since you are here to defeat mysteries, they're kind of like obstacles. So in other words, they're the enemy. Of course, as a detective seeking the truth, mysteries are your greatest enemy. You gotta be kidding me. What the? There are monsters here. That's a mystery phantom. That's an ugly phantom. A mystery phantom? What's that? I told you that cues make mysteries materialize, right? Well, if there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person also materializes. Why did it have to be him of all people? That's a mystery phantom. Interfering with the case? Hey, doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the Peacekeepers? If the Peacekeepers are tied up in this, then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. You. You're the culprit. You're the culprit. Huh? Since all the other passengers on the train are dead, you're the only one who could have done the crime. So you're the culprit. That's the truth behind this case. Master, he's trying to frame you to bury the case. If you can't get past this, you can't reach the truth. What do I do? Should I just run away? A detective doesn't run from a mystery. You gotta defeat him. Defeat him? How? Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? 
Huh? Just say I am. I, I am. The Solution Blade. It's a sword with special powers to affect things inside the Mystery Labyrinth. Use that to boom kill the Mystery Phantom! Let's do this! Whoa, slow down! Uh, how do I use this? I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Anyway... The damage you take here is nothing to sniff at. It's not like an injury in the real world, but still... The more and more your mind realizes you've been hurt here... Oh, boy! You'll wind up brain dead. It'll be game over, time to start from the beginning again. No one wants that, so you'd better be super careful. Come on, pay attention! Traps and obstacles lie in wait inside the mystery labyrinth. Make a mistake while facing them, and master stamina will decrease. It's game over once the stamina runs out, so be careful as you uncover the truth. Okay. My goal was to finish chapter zero, at least in this stream, so we're gonna keep going. During the reasoning, death match rdm a mystery phantom will attack master while making statements about the case dodge, dodge, duck, dodge. getting hit by a statement means taking damage so move up down left and right to avoid it track it carefully and Come on, pay attention if you dodge a statement at the very last second it becomes a daring dodge the more daring dodges you make the bigger the bonus you'll get later so give it a shot if you got the guts. don't you forget the bonus for successful daring dodges is based on the max amount you can dodge in one cycle. Basically, there's a cap on how much you can get. Don't let any shady statements slip by. Inflammable statements give you a chance to counterattack. Statements might contain a contradiction. Slash through it with a solution blade and fight against the phantoms. Master doesn't make mistakes, right? To right? Right? To expose a contradiction, you gotta pick the right solution key. The key is already set in the solution blade this time. So find a contradictory inflammable statement and slash it. Slash those suspicious if you slash a statement containing a contradiction with the right solution key, you'll destroy it and damage the mystery oh. Picking the wrong solution key or missing the timing means taking damage. Just some friendly advice from your stream. Okay. Yep. No need to draw this out. You're the culprit behind this case. No. You murdered five bastard detectives. No. That's the only explanation. No. Ow. Everyone else is dead. No. You're the only one who could have done the crime! X. Oops. Clicked Y. That was bad. What do I do? She made like a culprit. Master! You have to prove you're not, Master. Look for a clue in the solution. Uh, something that proves I'm not the culprit. No need to draw this out! You're the culprit behind this case! You murdered five bastard detectives! Now me get That's in! That's the only explanation! No, sir. 
Everyone else is dead! You're the only one who could have done the crime! Let's do this mystery! Ooh. No! There's no way I could have done it! I wasn't conscious the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. It's no use! Your deduction is wrong! Looks like there are more solution keys to choose from. The number of keys will change between RDMs used to correct key and slash through the contradiction in the inflammable state. You better not be skimming I already over mentioned this, but attacking the wrong statement, the wrong solution key means taking damage. Should be careful. Testimonies of two detectives. You were around the whole time. Ridiculous! You're the culprit. You knew it was drugs. Oh, I can't jump. And you went around killing them all. Nah, -uh. you're busted. You're busted. You took the laced coffee. Nah, -uh. and only pretended to drink it. Nah, -uh. master. You really drank the coffee, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know it was drugged, and I wasn't pretending to drink it. Oh, okay. So, so we're gonna need this solution key. Oh, time. Ridiculous! You're the culprit! Am I? You knew it was drugged! Did I? That's how you avoided being knocked out! Oh, ow. You went around killing them all! Nah, uh. Uh. Double bad. You're you took the laced coffee. And only pretended to drink it. This is the truth. <laughs> Zonga's photography footage showed me drinking the coffee. That proves I wasn't faking anything. Bye-bye. Did I... defeat it? See? No matter how weak you are, things will turn out fine, as long as I'm here. He tried to frame me as the culprit. We oui, we. Oui. Guess that's what Amaterasu Corp is doing. They want to set you up and call it a day. That's why the peacekeepers barged in as soon as the train hit the station. They probably planned this. So they knew what was going to happen. Then the culprit works for Amaterasu? It sounds about right. Or someone hired by them. Either way, the peacekeepers want to hide who did it. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu? Probably. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we're one step closer to the truth. Let's keep this up and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get to the truth. You're awfully casual about this. My life is at stake here. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <sighs> I understand now that the mystery labyrinth is the case's mysteries given shape. But what do you do here, Shinigami? Simply put, I'm the woman only cutie that can directly interact with the mystery labyrinth. The progress you've made in the mystery labyrinth and solving those mysteries here? It's all thanks to me! How are you able to do this? I don't know what to tell you. I've always been able to do this, so I forgot how. Or 
importantly, you got drugged and knocked out? You are so pitiful, Master! No wonder you're waddling around like a toddler. I thought I was dizzy because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. Huh? Making a pact with me won't make you dizzy. That just reduces your lifespan by a lot. Excuse me. You're kidding, right? Right? Anyway, who do you think is the culprit, Master? Do you have any guesses? Uh, if the drinks were drugs in the dining car, the culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. Oh, so then all you have to do is ask around and figure out what order everyone got on board. Oh, wait a minute. You can't, because they're all dead! Oi! You aren't taking this very seriously, are you? Where should I go? This fork in the path is also a materialized mystery, so you should know which way to go if you solve it. First, let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Uh huh? Uh, how do you do that? Like this! Huh? Master, this is a mystery labyrinth. It's fine. Anyway, take a look. I use the blood of the truth seeker as a conduit to expose the mystery blocking the path. Is that a question? That's the mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. Six on the train. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? If I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. But if I think the culprit is one of the six on board, I need to take the left path that says yes. Hmm. Which is it? There's only one truth! Questions relating to the case are asked in different forms inside the mystery labyrinth. Choose the correct answer and take me to the truth. Gotcha. I think yes. So, you think the culprit is one of the six on the train, right? Yes. Right here! Okay, let's go! Can I go through now? Oh, you got it right? Not bad at all, Master. Aw, oh, man. He's back. Ah! Something happened. Why? Did I make the wrong choice? It's trying to bury the truth again. Go get him, Master. Are the two detectives and a doctor. Something tells me we're going to need the testimonies. So we're gonna stick with that. Action is wrong! Your face is wrong. Other than the six on the train, you must have had an accomplice. This is the truth! Two master detectives used their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. 
If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Wrong! Your reasoning is completely off! What good is We're gonna use the operation forces. That testimony even do. Ow. Your accomplice just wasn't there when those two checked! But came aboard after them. Cut it in half. So what if the windows don't open? While everyone was knocked out. Ow. You secretly stopped the train and let your partner board. I'll flash through this mystery. The backup control room's operation log showed that the train never stopped. And the doors won't open unless the train stops. So it's impossible for someone to have gotten on during the trip. Damn. That's what she gets. Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Master. You've learned to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. You make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. For real. Hey, I was wondering, if the Mystery Labyrinth is trying to block people from seeking the truth, Wouldn't it reject my answers, even if they're right? Or maybe the questions themselves could be lies. No chance. A mystery labyrinth has no self-will. It can't lie or create things not based on the real-world mystery. Oh, yeah. This place is a direct manifestation of a mystery. You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. I see. That's a relief. By the way, about the culprit being one of the six of you, how could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? That's what I would currently like to know. I'll be it, I still have my theory. What is this? Another fork in the road. This is how we reach the truth. It reflects how problems are really solved, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. I don't remember it all. It doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. Just leave all the heavy lifting to your lovely mystery labyrinth guy. Yeah. You think they played dead? Come on. I'm still thinking here. Don't choose yet. Huh? Uh oh. Uh. I guess I'll think about the opposite door. Oh, I got it. Master, leave this to me. This has to be the right answer. Follow me! Hey, wait! You think they played dead? The culprit just played dead! Because if they did commit suicide after the crime, they'd be dead right now. And that's no fun at all! That's your reasoning? Wait, what's this chain? I told you we share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Our relationship can never be broken apart. Th that's terrible! 
Please, you should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. I'm so tired. I pulled you up here, so you can walk the rest of the way yourself. I didn't ask you to do that. So you think this path will lead toward the truth, right? No idea. This is a labyrinth. It's pretty common to encounter dead ends. Whoa, watch out! Shit. You see, what did I tell you? Dead end. Don't sound so proud of yourself. You chose this path, Shinigami. Hmm, if it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just playing dead. I searched all five bodies, and they were, without a doubt, dead. Oh, so the answer isn't played dead. Let's turn back. Uh, you changed your mind already? Exploring all possibilities is an important part of beating a mystery labyrinth. <laughs> I'm so awesome. By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mystery labyrinth. But I'm not that good at solving mysteries. You could have said that a little earlier. For real. I just want to help. I like when you rely on me, Master. Anyway, what's going on in the real world while we're in the mystery labyrinth? Time has stopped on the other side. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. As a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. And that creates an even bigger problem. Which is? Leaving a case unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. Oh dear. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. Eventually, the mystery labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. It would implant insidious ideas into people's minds, creating more murderers and, in turn, new mystery labyrinths. Labyrinths can create endless cycles. That's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. So they committed suicide after the crime? Hmm. Ah, we're finally back. The other route is commit suicide after the crime. There's no other option, so it has to be the right answer. Hmm. But why do I feel I commit suicide after the crime also? I mean, I suppose... Careful. Suicide after the crime would mean after killing the other four, the culprit killed themselves, right? Is that really the right answer? The mystery labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction. If there's only one route, then it's the only possibility. I think the only option left is the culprit off themselves. We just need to find that suicidal pest. The only person I could have think that could possibly have killed themselves is Silk. Yeah. 
What do you say? Come on, concentrate, concentrate. Whoa, whoa. This way. Culprit. If the culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last person that died should be the culprit. Because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else if they off themselves already. Nice work! Come on, let's try again! He set fire to the dead culprit themselves. Must be it! Of course! The person who started the fires must be the culprit. All five burned to death, so the culprit who died last totally burned himself! Last person to be burned to death. Shit. No. Shit. That was wrong. We, we're gonna crash! Redo. Couldn't have been Apex. Come on, let's try again. Had to be Zilch. This Apex was burned to a crisp. Burn the other four, then set themselves on fire. Is Zilch? <laughs> Bingo! You did it, Master! But you know, setting aside the idea that the culprit was the last to die, why would it be Detective Four Eyes? Didn't we discover his body first? According to the peacekeepers, the victims all burned to death, right? But when we first found Zilch in Car One, he wasn't burnt yet. If that's the case, that means he must have burned to death after that. Although, everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. Alright, so if they all burned to death, then the last one who died could be Detective Four Eyes. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their corpses. Starting from Car 5, he killed them in order one by one. Then set so, Detective Four Eyes is without a doubt the culprit, but he committed suicide, huh? Hmm. The door! A terrific guide. Yep, Fox Boy was the culprit. Yeah. Is that the end of it? I guess that's everything. Seems easier than I thought. What's wrong, Master? I'm wondering if that's really all that happened. Something about this seems off. I also got that feeling. It does? You think so? What's going on? The conclusion? Is this the truth behind the case? There's only one door. No other options. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a simple conclusion despite five people dying. Well, I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, Master. Wait. Mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real-world case, including things like misdirection, right? Which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. So, you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. If so, then this door could be a fake. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't want to affect your judgment. You've already affected my judgment. I guess the only way to find out is to destroy it. I also... How do I do that? I also don't think that that's the right answer, though. So 
Oh, it was fake. It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail. Does it make sense? Yes, but... Oh, fuck you! <laughs> you said it just quit while you were ahead. It's rare for a fake exit to appear. This mystery labyrinth is way tougher than I thought. Master, don't let your guard down. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. I ain't gonna show mercy to your head, though. Our two what our reasonings are. I wonder if Master can even make snap judgments. Mystery phantoms sometimes throw out noise. These will obstruct your vision and get in the way, so use Master Solution for Lane to come down. Are you gonna remember all of The this? more noise destroyed, the bigger the noise you'll get, the bigger the bonus you'll get later. So when it pops up in front of you, be aggressive and attack. Sure, hope you got all that The down. bonus for destroying noise is big. Okay. Knife and corpse from the leaves. The culprit must be self. The reason is obvious. Zilch is the only one who could have done the crime. He burned the four passed out victims, then set himself on fire, and died from immolation. That was lucky. I wasn't for sure about that one. No. Now that I think about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? <laughs> you little brat. Fine. I'll answer you. What do we got now? Blood stains on interiors, lock, and coffee. And I was the knife stuck in the body. Uh, of course I know why. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. He stabbed himself so he would pass out easy. No way. Then he set himself on fire. Dying by fire is a painful way to go. He wanted to make it less deep. The culprit has to be Zilch! Ow. That wasn't right. Come on! Okay. Yeah. I was a knife stuck in the body. I know why. Sure yeah, it was to knock himself out. He stabbed himself so he would pass out easy. Then he set himself on fire. Dying by fire is a painful way to go. He wanted to make it less painful. The culprit has to be Zilch. Committed suicide by self immolation. Hmm? That's true. Ah, I just realized why I was a knife stuck in the body. Uh, of course, I know why. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. Flash through this mystery. <laughs> His plan was to fall unconscious. He would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. That's a much easier way to pass out. Welcome back, Firedale. I see. 
So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. Yep. Right. The Peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death. But Zulch's corpse in the first car is different. To me, it looked more like he was stabbed to death. So the Peacekeeper's report was a lie? But they had no reason to do that. If they wanted to set you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire, after all. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. I get it. So that's what was bothering me. But no matter how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened next. Huh? Why's that? I don't have enough clues about Zilch in the first car. I should have investigated it more after discovering the body, but I was too preoccupied with calling for help. So we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. But I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. You wish you had investigated more, right? So you think you'd have the answer if you'd done that? Huh? Yeah, maybe. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is so draining, I try to avoid using it as much as possible. But I just love it when you rely on me, Master. What, man? What did you think? Uh, really I have a bad feeling now. about this. What are you trying to do? This is all for you, Master. She knocked the image of the train. I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. This is my super cute special weapon. See, if you investigate here, you might make some new discoveries. Oh, the shock from all this is making my head spin. You don't have any time to waste, Master. This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. You have until the pain in your head clears up. Now hurry and investigate. Got it. I'll hurry. That cushion. Huh? This cushion. Was it always there? Does it have a stab right in the middle? Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. It was made by something sharp. What did this? Was he stabbed through the oh, pillow? So I can get solution keys here, too. You may have seen it, but forgotten. And that just means you didn't think anything of it at the time. But it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. You can do that? You're incredible, Shinigami. <laughs> Go on, keep complimenting me. Okay. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. But how could that be? He was stabbed after death. After his heart already stopped pumping. Oh, it's fading. I guess the pain is starting to go away too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? Mm. 
Yeah, I think I see the contradiction here. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Come on, this is where you're supposed to declare I've solved the mystery. Well, if you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. Do what? It's for when you're stuck in your deductions. Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. So even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. And we're gonna find it by working together. Working together? Shinigami puzzle is one of my secret techniques to uncover the hidden truth. What? The truth is hidden somewhere in the letters on the side of the barrel containing your screen. Ready? Read the question, then knock out the letters in the right order. Make a mistake, and time limit will be reduced. Right somewhere inside if you your knock the after. letters out in the right order, I'll be imbued with the power of truth and unleash a special move that will open up a path. Master! By the way, if you feed me the solution keys floating around the barrel, I'll give you whatever hint comes to mind. Grab the key and bring it to my Don't mouth. Don't you forget! But there are some solution keys you can't get hints from. If I eat one of those, the time limit will be reduced. Interesting. Try to solve it lickety split! <laughs> ah. Oh, I gotta press the next. Love it. R e That's right. That's right. When I saw Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. But in actuality, he stabbed the blanket-wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it, even though the cushion was stabbed through. Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. a new solution key if it was a red herring that means he wasn't really dead yeah zilch was faking his death to fool us that knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when i looked through the window but the peacekeepers report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction so the culprit was just plain dead it's exactly what i said in a roundabout way yes which means that dead end in the abyss could have a new path now. Let's hurry back! Alright. So Zilch was playing dead. How was he able to hide himself? And whose body was that actually? Unless there was actually a seventh person that was already killed on board. What's wrong? It's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't want to walk anymore. Some guy you are. Besides, you're not even walking. I despise effort and hard work. I want to head back the easy way. Oh, I know. I have a convenient transportation method thanks to my awesomeness. 
It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Now is the perfect time to use it. Shinigami, you are someone, all right. See? Super easy. Yeah, sure. I mean, it worked out. But unfortunately, using it does drain a little bit. Drain a little bit of what? Do you have MP or something? Your lifespan. My lifespan? Again? So we passed through how did the culprit pull it off junction and have taken the play dead turn again. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. Let's give it a try. Hmm. I've never actually played the Dragon Quest games. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Viewers, we are gonna expose the truth together! Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. A bridge! See, didn't I say the path would appear? It's all because we found the right deductive clue to break through. I'm so amazing. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. Well, maybe later. We opened the plague dead route thanks to the corpse red herring solution key. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. If so, he is absolutely the culprit. Now, we just need to prove it. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world will be different, right? What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Huh? Why's that? Let's save the fun for later. Well, that's concerning. Oh, the ground! It's falling apart! Oh, here we go again. You better run, Master! Why? Wasn't this the right route? Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. Oi. Oh! Was what you must saw through the window actually so Okay, my logic was wrong. I saw Zilch through the window. He was faking his death with a knife through the cushion. That was definitely the real Zilch. His body didn't burn to a crisp. The corpse I investigated was real. It just wasn't Zilch's corpse. In other words, Zilch swapped himself out for a real corpse. The 
should swap places with the corpse in the infirmary. After you left. What? How could he have swapped places before you left? I guess the smoke makes sense. was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. Ah, Silch yeah. used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. I get it. The fire wasn't only there to show he died from burning. It was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse. Right. In the smoke, he switched places with a corpse he had hit. <laughs> Next up, you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden. Because the room was filled with smoke, he needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. Where are you thinking? If he needed to get to the body as quickly as possible, only one place makes sense. What place is suspicious? Use the on-screen cursor to select the spot that answers the question. You can pick the spots where the icon is. Picking the wrong states, spot means taking right, damage, so don't screw right, up. Right. Here. That's it! The burnt corpse was hidden right there! Jeez, one after another. This is really bad for my heart. We're not done yet. Hurry, let's speed it up! Shinigami, you might be fine because you're floating around, but this is really tough for me. I can't believe it! I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. I didn't hear shit. Zilch was lying in bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. He took the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife out of the cushion, and stabbed it. That way, even after he switched with the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Ew. Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? It must have been someplace with easy access. Which must mean... Under the bed, probably. Under the bed. He could have quickly hid there. Which means, if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. But back then, I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that, too. He knew I'd panic. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning, and that's why he let you in. Yeah, I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary, so he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. I passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans, so he went with it. I didn't mean to skip it. Wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yeah, he must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Get mean to. Not bad. I'm trying master. to run fast. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memories. Boy. No. If I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. I guess so. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? 
That corpse? Well, um... Ah, again! <sighs> I won't let you go any further! Getting in our way again, huh? Yeah, for real. If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. I will not. when the recovery gauze is at max. By using assist, your partner inside the mystery labyrinth will help this out. The clincher. When a partner's assist is activated, a mystery phantom statement won't inflict any damage. You use it to take a closer look at what they say. Could use corpse head fast corpse. I won't let you pass! Enough of your nonsense! Swap with a corpse? It'd be impossible to switch like that. Someone who could replace Silt would need to be the same size as him. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. Ooh, shit. I didn't mean to hit that thing, too. Master? In that case... I won't let you pass! He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. It's Aphex's body from the fifth car. He and Zilch are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. So the corpse that was switched was Aphex's. Ah, damn it! How could someone like you find the true? True. anymore. Even if that's true, don't let your guard down. The mystery labyrinth isn't over yet. Stay alert until the very end. Uh, all right. Wow. 
Who would have thought that short-tempered idiot would be used for a body swap? Thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify him. Well, reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? He totally went green. No. I mean, we gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so you gotta get the most value out of corpses too, you know? Hmm. Silch? Wait, I am not the culprit. I am a victim who was already killed. So, leave me alone! Hey, he ran away! After him, Master! I yeah. What the fuck? What is this? You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me, but Aphex? But you went to car five after car one, and discovered his corpse there. How was the corpse transported from car one to car five? That'd require moving past you. That's right, if he slipped past us, when did that happen? Most likely while we were looking at one of the dead bodies, not in car two, but Poochie and Zongye's bodies. Moving the body from car one to car five to culprit with Buddha's training. If he'd gone outside the train instead of through it, he could have passed us. No, that's impossible. 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 Impossible, 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 impossible! Something, all right. No, the police guys still have If they didn't out. pass through the train, they might have it. See the solution piece. Blackout and shaking, cushion with hole. Okay. Something tells me the blackout and shaking is what they're going to be. Did you think a corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all locked shut. That ain't what I meant to do. The door's locked when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. If the windows and doors are shut, 
There's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. Even if you could get out, Dang it. a body could not get in. That's the one I needed, that last one. Okay. If they didn't pass through the train. Strange. The blackout and shaking that happens when I was in car two and car four. Uh. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. Uh, don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Distorted plate, bloodless blanket, back up. Forget the shaking and the blackout! We're gonna put it on the backup control system. They were nothing but coincidences! The blackout was just a bad contact. The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's nothing odd about that. It's all just a coincidence. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot! Come on! Forget the shaking and the blackout! They were nothing but coincidences! The blackout was just a bad contact! Oops. The shaking was the- because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. The failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm... It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how, huh? In that case... Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. 
so let's solve it to keep on going. So this is the question we're facing right now. The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? Hmm. Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. Well, as his mentor, I better think hard too. <laughs> the main control system failing. The blackout? The train shaking? I don't like where this is going. Oh yeah! Why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing. But the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because... Uh... Oh, uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout, too? After the whole train shook, the blackout... Ah, I don't get it. That's right! The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Let's go, Master! Lay it all out! No, not magic. Well, actually, could have been magic. Let's work together as a team. Huh. That thinking gave me a headache. Could it be that... The first car was separated from the train? Huh? Separated? What? Seriously? Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was because... The first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Let's... keep going for now. Um... Master... I don't really get it. What do you mean the first car was cut off? The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Huh? Did it just shake? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. At 
that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. As a result, the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that... longer will this keep happening? I feel like I'm gonna suffocate. Now is not the time to be suffocating! Again? We need to resolve the mystery at hand. Even that the first car was cut off so that the body could be moved. Right. I think I see what happened. Seems like you got it. Let's do this. Lay it all out, Master. Are you ready to play the Shinigami puzzle? That's right! He transported the corpse using the entire first car! That's why the first car was disconnected! Transported the corpse? With the entire car? Nonsense! Shut up! The first car is at the front of the train. Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it all the way to the rear? Uh, um... Uh... Master, don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. C calm down. Stay calm. Think. How could you swap the position of the first and fifth cars. If I can answer that, I can solve this mystery once and for all. How did it happen? That reminds me. Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and mentioned the blackout? The blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel, and right after leaving it. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity! Master, here he comes! You've got to solve the mystery and defeat him! Your deductions aren't worth a damn thing! Because they're all wrong from the very beginning! I'm thinking, don't worry, I'm thinking. You mean the train car was separated, connected? Ah! 
would that even matter? Even if you manage to separate car one, how could it be moved? moment. Hey, let go. No. At that time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. Hey, thank you, Mac. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. So by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the train cars. I'm simply one hell of a detective. The first time the train trip was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. This is when the train shook for the second time. You're right! First car moved all the way to the back! <laughs> Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own. But the Amaterasu Express is special. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. If each train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own! Doesn't that solve everything? It's time you gave up! No! That's crazy! Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end, which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. So, you're telling me you found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. No. Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong! No, I'm not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. I will prove it to you. Apex's corpse was not in the six. Are you ready to play the Shinigami puzzle? When the start game was a. Bada ba ba. Maybe the Amaterasu Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. <laughs> the whole time, but instead... Four? Yep. That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. 
but you can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. So, it wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the gecko? Yep. I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. So the train took off with only four cars. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. If the real car one was waiting at the station's platform, then all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. So they were all in on it. Or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one. <coughs> if there was another car one, then there will be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary will be different from how I broke it. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? So they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway. They wanted... That's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Isn't that right? Zilch! this everything feels different here this is just the calm before the storm be careful you don't know what's gonna happen next you know making the first car look like the fifth was a really big trick to pull off I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly the train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. That's what I'm worried about. Thank you for the posture chat. Even if I, I literally just strike. <laughs> won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit Stretch. can escape. Why are you so sure of that? What a nerf. What is this? A castle hiding the truth? Looks like a fort to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. You just have to destroy it. So the truth is here. Thank you for the head pats. You can't have the truth. It's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. 
Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. <laughs> it's boot kill time! game gets more interesting the more I play it. Shinigami's tutorial corner! To overcome the last stand of a phantom, tear through all obstacles with a mega-sized god. Gigantic iron balls released from the Phantom's Fortress with the corresponding no When an obstacle closes in on the screen, slows down, press the button to attack. What? Missing the input timing means failure and taking damage, so be careful. I won't let you have the truth. Oops. I see, I see. Destroy huge walls with attack. Go away! Give up and scram! Easy, watch out! Your deduction is wrong! Go away! Don't come near me! Don't come any closer! Stop it! Switching the first and fifth cards is just your imagination! It's a completely baseless lie! There's no evidence they ever swapped! There are obstacles that even God can't destroy without a solution. Come on, key. hurry up at the side! Use the solution key to smash through the wall, Master! You're wrong! Huh? Come on! No! There are traces of a swap! The warped plate from car 5! The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said Car 1. Left as it was, it would have messed up your plot to make Car 1 look like Car 5. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition. on the inner lock of the infirmary in car 5. The culprit probably didn't notice it. But I remember. It's my blood. <clears throat> what? 
When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood on it. But that blood stain would have been hidden while the interlock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. This is the truth of the case. Boom shakalaka laka. I'm not done yet. What? He's still going. Let us both kill you already. If car one became car five, then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary go? You had to have checked the fifth car, but the culprit wasn't there! Man, he is still fighting this. Fine. The culprit must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car. Probably someplace safe. inside the main control room, which was locked shut the entire time. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten inside. I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track. If the train's management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was involved, the culprit may have had the key. And then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. That's how they got past me. Not me. I'm not the culprit. Great detective work. I call that a critical hit. He seems like he's barely standing. All that's left is to finish him off. Finish him off? Uh, how do I do that? Shove all your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can. Every gap is filled with a piece of final revealing. All mysteries will be unveiled. Everything has been leading to this moment.
was used to put the detectives to sleep. Body was found last. Oops. Back. Terrasa Corporation has master in their sights. Truth bombs are about to be dropped. Time for the deduction game on. The incident unfolded aboard the Amaterasu Express, which was on its way to Kanaiwar. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. Never be solved. When the train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. And so the culprit scheme had already begun. Meaning Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get-go. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. Culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. Out of that, Culprit, who was the first person on the train, so they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else. I felt unwell, and Melanie went to the trouble of pouring me a coffee. But after drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill, but it was actually the drug. Went after you instead. 
Once I'd left, the other master detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. The culprit then burned everyone to death. Setting all those master detectives on fire! On purpose! What a psycho! This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. First, they carried Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. The very first body we found. Then, they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping in. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Or have someone get inside somehow, or else nobody would find the body. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Apex's charred corpse. Jumping into bed with a charred corpse! And here I thought chivalry was dead! What a gentleman! I'm actually a little jealous. The knife and cushion created the red herring. Oh, a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, the culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. While you were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. They must have seen me then and timed it. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, Car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Oh, that's some precise timing! I caught a glimpse of Zilch in the infirmary, with a knife lodged in his chest. But it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. That was when the culprit took out Apex's burnt corpse, switched places with it, and waited for me to enter the room while hiding beneath the bed. That's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. After the smoke cleared, I found Zelch's body burned to a crisp. At least, that's what I thought. The charred corpse was actually Aphex. The culprit had me completely fooled. Just why they picked the time-consuming method of roasting someone to death. Plus, the body was about the right size. Out of car one after seeing the corpse. The culprit was under the bed at that time. Huh. They probably left at you from there, watching everything unfold like they planned. I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. Around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. That caused the blackout and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. So when the train shook, was there or was there not to be a guess? Take a guess. While the detached car one was running on a separate track, the culprit went to work. Preparing to disguise car one as car five. Apex's corpse was carried to the corridor, and the necklace removed earlier was placed back on. Then, the car one number plate was burned... ...so that it couldn't be properly identified. With everything in place, the culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and waited for the train cars to reconnect. The culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? Yeah, the train, which was only cars two, three, and four at the time, remained on course. Since we were in a tunnel, I didn't even realize car one was moving alongside us. The train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars. When it came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached car four. Now behind car four, that car became car five. The swap was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Technology sure is convenient. The culprit riding in 
car one attached it to the back of car four. That caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse, but the power stayed on. Oh, okay. After that, I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. The culprit wrecked it so much, I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. I figured there'd been some kind of brawl. But that was part of the culprit's plan, wasn't it? Also, no one would realize it was actually car one. When I found the corpse, I deduced that it was Aphex from the necklace it had on. I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. The disguised corpse and the car switch completely fooled me. Is that dead oh, this is a hysterically brilliant idea! When the train arrived in Kanai, it connected to a different, prearranged car one. And with that, the train once again had five cars. So much attaching and detaching. What a stupid, crazy, elaborate trick! The peacekeepers were lying in wait at the station. As the sole survivor, I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. And Amaterasu was in on it! This me off, right? During that time, the culprit stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one. And waited for the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. They were right there at the scene. After burning all the Master detectives, the culprit faked their own death. And tried to frame me as the killer. It was a cunning, cold-blooded scheme. Who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than Silch Alexander! It was you! Covered. Is that it? What's this? It's the truth. It's the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. The soul of the true culprit? Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> now it's time for the main event! Here we go! It's my time to shine! I don't like where this is going. Surging bloodlust. Overflowing despair. The brilliant soul of Shinigami. Shall expunge this cursed case. Death to all deplorables. Ruin to the vile mystery labyrinth.
Well, that was something. Could she make her finishing move any longer named? Yeah, she could have. Huh? We're back? What are you talking about now? Your spirit shouldn't be broken. Yet. The peacekeepers will take care of you. We have all the time in the world. Huh? Huh? Can I roll my eyes? Yeah. There you go. Where are you? Nothing here's changed. What's going on? Shinigami? Are you listening? Get him! Wait! I know who the culprit is! What? It's Zilch! He's still alive! He framed me! What are you talking about? He's already dead! Huh? But. Shut up! This is not up for discussion! Oh, what a waste of time! Take him away! Shinigami! Where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen! <laughs> I'm right here! You're so cute when you panic, so I had to enjoy the view for a bit. Oi! Stop playing around! Why hasn't the situation changed at all? He must be hallucinating. <laughs> Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. Take him away! What? He's dead! Looks like it's over. Huh? What's over? Shinigami, what's going on? There's always a price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. But as a price, the source that created the Mystery Labyrinth also perishes. The source... perishes? <gasps> Don't tell me. That's right, the true culprit dies. Then that report saying Silge, the true culprit, was dead. And that solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. You're now innocent and free to go, Master. A happy ending. A roll credits! There's nothing happy about this. Zilch died because I solved the mystery, right? Huh? He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. I mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. In that case, say exactly what I'm about to tell you to that gilded idiot over there. Okay. Swank, did you just receive a report that Zilch was dead? How did you know that? I thought so. Ah! If he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. Someone who died in front of our, my, eyes, was alive. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. You didn't try to frame an innocent person, did you? But, what? You think you can weasel your way out of this? You better not forget you're in Kanai Ward now! You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation! No, um, I didn't mean... Hey! Don't surrender so easily! You are so close! That does it! You're under arrest! Listen, you got no right to remain silent, and you got no right to call a lawyer either! Take him away! No, wait! You 
Hold on! Hold on just a second! Hey, excuse me. Do you have a minute? You. It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. We both have to follow orders from the higher-ups, so let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. Falsifying evidence and testimonies is a drag when it comes time to do the paperwork, right? It's tough keeping things consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me, yeah? You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. What? If you let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. So, you know what to do. Leave things well enough alone, as they say. Let's go! Ah, controller, wake up. Thank goodness that worked out. Well, hello. Who is he? Beats me? So. We'll save the mystery for who this dude is later. Cause we're gonna go ahead and oops we're gonna go ahead and end the stream there